know you mentioned that your joint uh, your joint pain was gone, correct? Uh, yeah, uh, joint pain. And uh, yeah. in in your wounds, uh, did you notice that did they start healing yet, or they just haven't completely eliminated? Correct. Yeah, I think with the wounds, because you know, I b I believe prednisone can also slow wound healing. Um, so they're not like let's just say they haven't gotten worse, which is good. Um, like I've not had any new abscesses or anything like that. So I believe with time, and like you told me initially, skin always takes time to heal. Um, I believe with time, especially now that I'm no longer on the prednisone, that it will get increasingly better. Um, so yeah, we're, it's, it's getting there. But I mean, I've lived with that issue for so long and the joint pain was really what was like, I can't live like so, but that is completely like, it's a it's a thing of the past so okay and when did you notice the joint pain was gone was it week uh, i think uh, you mentioned probably week uh, four or five yeah so definitely around week week four or five um I, I noticed it going gradually down because if you remember i was taking 10 milligrams of prednisone and then i cut it down to five um, and so from five milligrams, like I noticed some days I would need it more than other days. And so a couple of days I tried to cut it down like completely like two and a half. And I noticed the pain came back. Um, but eventually I was able to cut it down. So around two week four and five. And also you had bone pain, uh, correct? You had some bone pain as well. Um, yeah, so it was really just my joints. So like my ankle, my knee, and my fingers, and they were swelling, like not my knee, but my ankle was really swelling a lot. And then my fingers, like my middle finger, my index finger was swelling a lot. Um, so like the fingers were, they resolved themselves quickly. But the foot, um, and it was on both foot, it's just the foot that was really bad that had like the swelling and that was the most painful that one took time. But now, like I said, everything is, everything is gone. Um, and I stopped, I stopped sending you like updates because I'm so busy and I more or less mm -hmm. eat the same thing because mm -hmm. it's just easier to eat the same thing every single day. Um, so another thing that really helped me, you know, you know, with inflammation or autoimmune, I believe sometimes it's like the perfect storm so, you know, maybe your diet is off and then maybe life is really stressful and you have a lot of stress. And it. And I feel like for me also, like, like you sent me some really helpful links and um, just my mindset and really working on stress because, you know, I had just had a baby and that's a whole bunch of stress on your body. And then the whole that whole postpartum process, I just don't think I handled it as well as I should have. So I feel like probably all the cumulative stress and then, of course, my diet wasn't helping. I feel like that's what really triggered that extreme pain. But I'm so happy now that it's like gone. And I'm also just keeping the mindset, like keeping in mind, like, yes, especially for me that my diet is important, but like I have to make sure to take care of my mental and how I approach and how I see things because that's so important as well. So, did you have a chance to go through the client classes? I know there's some classes you didn't come live because uh, I, I know you're busy, you have a baby, but did you get a chance to watch the replays for the classes? Yeah, I've watched all the replays. There's one I'm missing, but I plan on watching it this evening before my access is, um, you know, because I'm at the end of the program. So before the day is over, I want to watch it. But yeah, I've watched all of them except for one. So and and we do email it. we do email it the uh, the replays so you should get an email with all of them but basically the classes we repeat every every six weeks I just added I probably added three new classes based on the other questions that clients asked us because we have a client who have gut issues so I want to talk more a little bit mm -hmm. about microbiome so that's a good class and then I added the class about uh, what other class did I add. Uh, microbiome one recently I added it and some more research studies so just more research studies to show that uh, what you're eating is is helping you repair your cells not just yeah. the immune system 
well, the class I added is about brain degeneration because uh -huh. th those are those are again older studies and some of them are newer like from 2020 we had a client we worked with her she's she's a phd scientist and she she was diagnosed with lupus and she was on several medications and she still had she also had joint pain but she was able to reduce her meds and her mom who has scleroderma disease was following some of the things that we teach in the program, except uh, not a hundred percent, but even her mom's uh, labs improved. She had elevated liver enzymes that improved, mm. uh, which was caused by medication she's been on for years for her scleroderma. So it definitely benefits people, other people who are not even doing it a hundred percent. Thank you so much for everything. You're welcome, Tope. It was nice working with you. And if you have any questions, like I said, reach out to us. But please mm -hmm. continue uh, healing and, and you can always update us if anything comes okay. up in the future, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have Bye. Have a good evening. Bye.